Hi, good day. Plantar fasciitis or plantar myofasciitis. This is a common condition seen with millions of people worldwide. Number one, being overweight. Number two, putting excessive stress upon the fascia, upon the tissues below the feet as a result of being pronated where the foot goes inwards. In other words, falling arches. Number three, people who exert lots of stress on the feet, runners, people who are on their feet a lot. But the bottom line is a very painful condition that causes pain in the heel. It can run all the way up to the foot, up towards the toes, and usually the pain will be worse in the morning. And as you walk and as you step, the pain may start to get a little bit easier. But once you stop and then go again, that pain comes back. It's burning, it's stabbing, it's aching, it's uncomfortable, and it throws your gait off. We know that plantar myofasciitis is one of the most common problems in the foot. This is the fascia that connects that tissue to your heel bone to your toes. It supports the arch of your foot. So when you strain this, it becomes swollen, it becomes weak and irritated, it gets inflamed. The inflammation becomes chronic and you continue to walk on a chronic inflamed problem. It's quite common, just having tight gastrocs or tight calves when the back of your leg becomes very constricted, very contracted, this will pull on the Achilles tendon. It wraps around underneath that heel called a calcaneus bone. So by having tightness behind your leg can actually affect the contracture that goes underneath the foot, causing more inflammation on that plantar region. When you have these problems, you need the rest. If you keep pushing something that's inflamed, it's gonna get worse and it's gonna become more irritated. Now, staying off the feet is important, although I know that you need to walk around. Getting a good arch support, getting a good pair of shoes, having proper balance where your, where your foot is not rolled in, where you're putting excessive stress on those ligaments. Using ice is very effective, but most important, giving it the time to repair so you don't keep exacerbating this problem where it never heals. Stretching those calves are extremely important. You can do this several times a day. So if you're stretching the right calf, you're gonna put the right foot back behind your left. Stand at arm's length from the wall, slowly and gently bend that left leg forward. Keep the right knee straight and your right heel on the ground. Hold that stretch for 15 uh, to 30 seconds, then release it, and then repeat that three times or so. Then you can switch and do the opposite. But remember, when that back leg is back, and that's the calf that you're stretching, make sure you keep that heel down while you're stretching. You can take a frozen water bottle and put your foot over that frozen water bottle and roll it back and forth. By rolling it back and forth, you're stimulating and releasing that tight fascia within the muscle, within the foot, and within the tissue, and you're also reducing a significant amount of inflammation so healing can be expedited. Now you could also cross your leg or get to that foot. You can grab that big toe and pull it back. And as you pull the big toe back, you're stretching that part of the fascia inside of the medial part of the foot. That will actually elongate it. Another thing you can do, you can uh, sit down, cross your leg again, leave your leg out in front of you, take a towel, wrap it around the top of the foot and pull it backwards. As you pull that top of the foot backwards, you're actually bringing it back and stretching that whole fascial area. You're kind of bringing the toes back towards you and you're bringing the heel forward as you're stretching the fascia, helping to elongate that contracted and tight tissue. You can actually put a golf ball on the floor Roll your foot over that golf ball, something a little harder. That's good where it breaks up that hard tissue. You can do that in the morning, do it at night. Very, very helpful. You can also have someone do some light massage. Take some light oil, light lotion, and just start kneading that uh, tissue underneath the foot. It may be very sore, very tender, but it will actually help increase circulation. You can actually uh, massage the back of the calf because again, the calf, the gastrocnemius, wraps around the Achilles tendon and comes underneath the way of the foot, the plantar region of the foot. And again, they're all connected. So this can be a very complex problem. Most important is reducing inflammation. The next thing is increasing the flexibility because the contracture 
is going to lead to shortening and lead to lots of pain. If the gastroc or the calf is contracted, you need to stretch it. That can be causing pain underneath the foot. The calcaneal area may have a heel spur and the pain may be in the foot. The pain uh, can come from different sources. So treat it conservatively. Use natural anti-inflammatories like quercetin, uh, uh, turmeric, ginger, things that are very easy on the system before you do anything invasive like the naproxen, the Advil, the Motrin. That can be very harsh on the gastrointestinal system. So I really hope that you uh, understand this condition a lot better. If you have any questions, leave your comments below. Pass this out to your friends. Put the good word out so we can help reach out in the community. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.